to some other stories where the headmaster of the St. Mark Methodist School here in Accra, David Ashon, is appealing to government and other relevant stakeholders in education to invest adequately in the sector. Currently, the school lacks a standard library and a computer laboratory to facilitate effective teaching and learning. He said this when his outfit celebrated eight, nine lessons and carol service here in Accra. As Christmas is drawing closer, St. Mark Methodist School, located at Dakuman, a town in the Accra Metropolitan District, celebrated its nine lessons and carol service and also graduated 38 pupils in the kindergarten level. The core motive of the school is to inculcate Christian values to the children as a result of that mission. The school that has been in existence for about 50 years tends to train and induce Christian doctrines alongside academics for the children to become great future leaders. The headmaster of the school, David Ashon, who spoke to TV Africa News, said the church and management had been able to build an ultra-modern library, but they lacked the required books to stock it. He therefore appealed to individuals and authorities to help them with books and computers to help the students in their learning process and also for government to support the private mission school. David Ashon further asked parents to have time for their children and refrain them from watching television. What we are fighting for is government supporting the private mission schools. The private mission schools. Yes, that is what we're pushing the government to come to our aid, you know. We have the chairs, we have... Everything is set over there, but we are left with books, and it's a challenge to us, you understand. Though we are getting support from individuals and other members of the church, we are still, you know, having challenge to get the required books that we want. So I'm using this opportunity to preach out to the entire world that they should come to our aid so that we can open this ultra uh, modern library. This library not only serves the school, but the community as a whole. So that is one aspect of it. We also have our library, um, our ICT, ITT lab, yes. Our project is that our projection is that we have about 50 computers in the lab, but the computers we have are now up to. So we are seeking assistance also, you know, in that angle. And, and, and so there are more, but these two are very dear to my heart, you understand. And when we are able to, you know, achieve these two things, it will go a long way to help shape the minds and the thoughts of the students, broaden their horizon, and then prepare them for the future. Yes, um, 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 Yes, the message I have for the students is that, yes, it's really that we need to enjoy, but then there must be a limit to everything. We will encourage parents to have more time with their children. They should provide them so that they read their books at home. Television is not open to our students nowadays. So we will help, um, um, appeal to parents to refrain their children from watching television, and they have more time for them. And then they should also have sent themselves trying to go to beach and pools, um, because that will not be of any good help to them. So that is my message that I will give to my students. Deputy Chief Imam Fadakuman expressed his excitement about the program and called on parents to also support the teachers, as this will boost their morale to go the extra mile for the awards. So what I will say to the parents, we should try and help our ward at home so that if they come to school, they can perform more than what we come saw today. I'm aware of such problem because my children start coming to this school not today, more than 15 or 17 years. So we the parents supposed to help the teachers, although we are paying the monthly salary. That will never do anything for the teachers. If we support them, that will give them more moral to get more time so that they can teach our teachers. So I'm aware of this, so I also contribute to what I can I give them today. I think if they are thinking for that one, they are doing big mistake. We know every month we are paying and we know the cost of condition in this time we can never realize on what we are giving them the more we help them we support them that one will give them more time so that they will teach our children so that we can be the future leaders so if we stand about what we are giving them every month then they will do what they will do a section of the students also had this to say it was really good i liked it how the children came to sing and they were like, I like this. It was really good. I think the, pro the program was a very good one. And, and it's, I think it's, it's very good. Yes. Yes. Okay. What I can say is that it's been a long time since we did this. So it went as expected. Being the MC, I think it was good. Yes, yeah, my first time experiencing this in this school.